My name is Marion Ajay Jumra, and I'm the manager of business operations for the Toronto Marlies. My passion for sport definitely came from my older sister. Uh, growing up, she was always introducing us to a variety of different sports, but basketball was her main one. Uh, we were watching NBA games, WNBA games. We were even watching NCAA women's basketball games. So that really created a vested interest and passion for myself. And uh, I would say also being able to play sport became a really important part of my life from a social perspective. I also just so happened to be the tallest kid in all of my elementary school. So it was kind of a, an easy way for me to stick out, but playing sport really gave me a strong sense of community and identity. So when I reached university, you know, sport had been a constant in my life prior to, and I wanted to ensure that it continued to be an important part of my life. Growing up, I knew I wanted to work in sport, um, but my parents were looking forward to me kind of working in a traditional job. So I found ways outside of education and my career at that point to pursue sport. So I went to the University of Waterloo for my undergraduate degree, and I was a varsity track and field athlete. I was a thrower for the track and field team, which was an incredible experience. A lot of running hills, a lot of throwing, uh, but it taught me a ton about teamwork and dedication and perseverance. So I signed up to be an equipment manager for the men's football team at the school, and then also had a unique opportunity to be an equipment manager for the women's hockey team. Working at Ringette Ontario, I would say was a fantastic experience. I got to work with some amazing leaders. It taught me a ton about budgeting, finance, being able to use as much as you can with the small, um, and even being able to work in a territory that you're not familiar with. I didn't grow up playing ringette. I wasn't a good skater at all, but I knew and understood the importance and power of being able to tell athlete stories, promoting the game, allowing people to see a different perspective of ringette. I remember one point in particular uh, where I had reached a, a space where I thought I was doing all of the right things. I had all of the right skills. I was building relationships and was ready to kind of transition into a new senior role um, with a major sports organization. And I remember I kept applying for jobs and nobody was calling me back. And I remember being so frustrated. I got to a point where I started considering maybe sport is not for me. And I had a conversation um, with somebody who had been actually helping me through one of the interview processes that I was involved in, who was just very positive and encouraging me to you know, stay the course. And they actually suggested that I apply for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, Management Development Program. And I remember thinking like, there's no way they're gonna pick me. I don't embody what traditional hockey is. And I was floored having the GM of the team at the time call me to let me know that I was a successful candidate. In 2021, I had the unique opportunity of joining the Toronto Maple Leafs as their management development associate. They had established a program to ensure that the hockey space uh, was very reflective of the city of Toronto. And one key term they always used was diverse thought. So people who came from a variety of different backgrounds being able to be in this program, learning from professionals in the sport, everyone from our scouts to the president, the general manager, uh, business operations, media relations, video analysis. And so um, I was the first successful associate to be selected for the management stream of the program. And it was easily one of the best years of my entire career. I did every single thing that you could potentially imagine in sport. I worked on a variety of different projects that contributed to the success of the organization, wrote scouting reports. I helped oversee exciting and amazing events that contributed to the business success. And so I learned a ton there. During my time with the Toronto Maple Leafs, I was able to recognize a ton of opportunities that actually existed with the Marlies in terms of increasing efficiency, awareness of the organization, and just allowing people to really see how great uh, this American Hockey League team was. And so in being able to come to the organization, a lot of my focus was on how we bring all of our corporate departments together to be a little bit more unified in understanding how the brand and the business can work in oneness to ensure that we have great success. And then some of the other opportunities that I noticed was that though we exist in the city of Toronto, there wasn't always this sense of awareness amongst our core demographic or even people who are new to the sport. And so I was able to utilize a lot of the relationships that I had developed during my time with the Toronto Maple Leafs and in other aspects of the community to introduce the Toronto Marlies to a variety of different groups. I kind of serve as a bridge between our corporate departments and our hockey operations team. I work with all of our corporate departments, everyone from brand to communications, game presentation, ticket sales, food and beverage. In addition to that, I do a lot of special projects, anything related to diversity and inclusion, including our special games, our things that I'm responsible for. I also oversee our community engagement efforts in collaboration with our community relations. If I had to give any advice to any women or young girls that are coming up that are really interested in working in sports, there would be maybe three core areas, hard work, 
Hard work is never going to fail you. People won't always see it or recognize it, but when the time comes and you really have to display your skills, your hard work goes a long way. Mentorship and sponsorship are essential. I think sometimes people don't know the difference, but a mentor is somebody that obviously you could always connect with and go to, and a sponsor is somebody who's gonna invest their capital, whether it be financial or social, and making sure that you succeed. So find those mentors and find those sponsors. And then relationship building. I think people often overlook the importance of being nice at work and asking somebody how their day is going or your willingness to learn and have conversations with people. When I was growing up, I never could have imagined that I would have had an opportunity to be able to work in a sport like hockey just because it didn't feel accessible and I didn't really see people like me in this space. Thankfully, there's been a lot of progression and development. Um, getting to work for this organization in particular has been very inspirational. Across our teams, I believe we have like 11 women that work in our front office, everything from our nutritionist to our assistant general manager. I hope that one day I will be sitting at the NHL draft and the commissioner is going to be a woman who has had all of these amazing experiences and is pushing the league in a really great way.